Today I'm going to be installing the AC and heater into the factory 533 hot rod. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel about kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below. So before we start with the AC heater installation, I'm kind of at that point where I need to start wrapping up the front end and getting it secure so I'm not accidentally putting nicks into the paint and stuff like that. So I'm going to take some measurements and then I'm going to go ahead and foam wrap this whole front end. And then we're going to start doing the AC heater install, which is going to be including popping the proper holes into the firewall. So, you know, whatever uh, Freon and stuff needs to go through uh, is able to happen. So that's what's up for today. Let's do it. So before I went on, I wanted to kind of just do an update and show you kind of everything that I got going on. Uh, got all the bars covered up, ready to go. So when I go to do my engine installation, I don't have any issues that, you know, not that a quarter inch of cell, cell phone is gonna uh, withstand a 500 pound hinge and hitting it, but we'll try our best. Then we got the uh, brake lines installed that will Come all the way over to here with a banjo fitting. And then I was able to get my uh, fuel filter installed. And of course, all the brake lines for the back, which just look great. And so we're really coming along. Uh, along with the fuel filter, I also uh, painted the area that I ground ground out to fit the uh, gas tank so next thing is to uh, Get the under panel installed underneath the uh, Gas tank and whether you know it has undercoating or lizard skin or both or you know, whatever's going on I need to figure out some of that stuff and start spraying that stuff and getting it installed But for the most part once we get the engine fit in then I'll be able to figure out where all the dipsticks are going, um, the uh, master uh, reservoirs for the uh, brakes, and um, you know, the biggest thing actually on this car is, that's gonna be what I'll call custom in a sense, is actually relocating the coils. The way I built this engine, I'm not gonna have coils sitting on top of the sitting on top of the heads because I don't want to cover that up. Looks too cool. So that's kind of the next thing. And right now I'm in the middle of ordering AN fittings so I could get all that dialed in and get my uh, fuel system, EFI system all dialed in. So it's kind of been interesting because I've been feeling like I haven't been getting anything done because I haven't physically worked on the car for a while, but it's because I'm doing all brain power and ordering and making sure fittings are working and getting stuff in in time. So when I go put to put the engine in, it all kind of works out really well and I have everything I need. So, all right, let's get started.
pretty decent day. We got all these fittings uh, set in and we have all these uh, set for these. And the reason being is they are really specific about where this need to be mounted. So this comes across to here and yet I think it's way too close. So we're gonna have to figure out what's wrong with that. Uh, I got all the drainage hose in with the clamps and then we need to drill out that little area of the floor so the pipe could go through or the hose. And uh, I think, you know, these are so difficult to remove that I'm going to wait until I have to remove it and then I'll just grind that little part out. So that's fine for now. <clears throat> and uh, I also got the dryer all filled out with uh, connectors and I believe a sensor or a switch. And uh, what's interesting is out of all the boxes that I've received, this air conditioning box has the most amount of like random components um, and you know their instructions have really nothing to do with factory fives instructions and there's not really a good list of inventory in the sense that I know what's going on so what's what might be weird is this bag might have a part and then this bag has a part but that part in here is supposed to go with this thing here and it gets a little discombobulated so you kind of have to just throw everything out Put it on a table and and go here's what i need and hopefully i'm not stealing it from some other part of the build um, but it's coming together and uh till next time have a great day